Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello there everyone. Welcome back to DIY Design by CCW. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, today, guys, we are going to be doing a little bit different DIY, uh, but similar to one that we did uh, on Friday. Um, I'm doing another revamp DIY. So just like a lot of people do at the beginning of the year, I'm going around my home. I've got my New Year's resolutions, and there's some areas I want to clean up and just kind of spruce up a little bit. Um, but I've deter I'm determined to do it on a budget without spending a lot of money. So you're going to be seeing quite a few revamps from uh, on this channel in the, in the coming weeks. Or at least for the next two or three weeks, let's say. Uh, but so, I've got quite a few things here. I'm not going to keep you too long because we want to jump right into the DIY. So, this is a little box that I am going to make over. Uh, this is one of those little boxes that you get to keep stationary in and it sat on my desk for a long time and I was looking for another little container to add uh, to my dresser and uh, maybe even into the restroom where I can store things like q-tips, cotton balls, things like that. So you know what? I'm going to glam up this little box instead of buying something new. This is one of those little uh, jars that you can get from, or containers, like a little candy dish or something that you can get from the Dollar Tree or the Family Dollar or whatever kind of dollar store you have in your area. And uh, I'm going to take this, clean it up, and we're going to glam this up. Now, uh, you're going to see video where I built this tray base, but it is nowhere near finished. I kind of got it started, and I'll show you the video footage. I'll include that of how I built it, but I'm actually going to take this to a whole new level, and it is going to be the foundation for my new display, and I, I think it's either going to be on, in my, uh, on my dresser, or it's going to be in my bathroom, my master bath. I'm not sure which, but either way, I think it's going to turn out nice. So I'll leave you guessing a little bit about the rest of it. But I'm hoping that you enjoy the video. And uh, of course, you know, I'll show you what I'm doing. And then I'll be back at the end with the big reveal. All right, everybody. I'll be back. And we're going to jump right in to a video. Okay, guys. So I'm back. And I'm going to get started here on the DIY. So this little box is going to be the first thing that I DIY. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of paint, this little uh, Rust-Oleum paint. Uh, you guys know I love this stuff. I use it on everything. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is take this thing off camera, transform it with a little Rust-Oleum paint, and then we're going to come back. I'll come back and we'll glam this up, and then we'll move on to the next DIY. All right, everybody. I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I'm back, and uh, what we're going to be doing here is glamming up the box. So this will be DIY number one. Um, now, I have to tell you I'm a little bit upset with myself because I did do a part of this box that I forgot to show you. in the it, When I do the final reveal, you don't see it, but um, I did actually add some mirrors to the back of the box, and you're not going to see that here, but... Well, what are you going to do? Uh, the the video's already long enough, so uh, too late to add that footage. But anyway, um, here you see me just kind of laying out my uh, pattern for the gems that I'm going to use. Now, guys, uh, I've learned the hard way doing gems like this, these, these acrylic gems, that if you use a glue, and I've tried E6000, the quick hold, the regular... Uh, 
what is it, Aileen's or Aileen's, I think it's called. I've tried, uh, oh, you name it. And no matter which one I try, they seem to discolor the gems a little bit. Now, I do know that the hot glue doesn't hold as well, but the hot glue does not discolor the gems and, and uh, cause them not to shine as bright. So uh, once I get this pattern all laid out, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be hot gluing these gems on and um, and then, you know, we'll be we'll move on from the box. Now, after the box, I'm going to show you how I built the mirror base, um, how I how I built it. And then I think I said at the beginning that it wasn't finished. I'm going to finish that out, add some nice embellishments to that. Uh, you'll also see me do the little uh, jar or the little Dollar Tree do jar. And um, and then, of course, I'm going to add some layers, uh, some tiered layers to the mirror base. So a lot of DIYs coming. But um, so I'll come back, guys, in a little bit. I'll just, you know, keep the music playing and let you see how I end up decorating this little box.
All right, guys, so in this last part, you see that I'm tracing out, uh, and by the way, this is cake board uh, that I'm using. Uh, I'm tracing out cake board to use to uh, make my little mirror uh, layers, or my layers for the uh, mirror base a little more substantial. Um, after I layer them and glue them together, and what I did, I, I wanted it to be mirrored, the layers to be mirrored on both sides. So what I did is sandwich two mirrors. And by the way, these are the six inch round mirrors. You can pick those up for 99 cent uh, at Joann Fabrics. They don't carry them anymore at the dollar store, I think. Uh, but anyway, after I did that, then I glued trim around uh, the outer part of the mirror to give it a uh, or bling wrap as trim rather to give it a finished look and then of course I added some gems um, then after this is done I will move on to the last DIY which is the little jar the little Dollar Tree jar I'm going to bling that out and then when I'm done adding a little bling a little glam to that I'll be back for the final reveal
Well, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video to this point. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, so I was able to combine um, three different DIYs with this uh, video. And uh, I hope to be able to do some things like that in the future. Um, what's nice is I'm just doing things that where these are no spin, you know. I'm just using things out of my stash and revamping some things around my home to sort of glam them up. And uh, I hope that that's something that you can enjoy. And I hope that's something that you can also do in your home. So as always, I like to display at the end when I show you the final reveal. I have mixed in some things that I've DIY'd in other uh, videos. I'll make sure to link those in the I cards or either down in the description box. And I'll also put a list of the materials I used. Uh, although a lot of them were things that I already had uh, in my stash. So again, I thank you so much for watching. And as I like to say, well, I guess before I say that, let me say this. If you're not a member of the channel, I hope that you'll subscribe today. I like to do at least two uh, DIYs a week. I preferably like to do them on Sundays and Thursdays. Of course, this week we're a little off schedule, but... Uh, that will be the norm, uh, Sundays and Thursdays. And again, um, if you're not a member, I hope you'll consider subscribing, tapping the bell at least two times. Now, like I say at the end of every single video, I cannot wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day or a wonderful night.